Okay, uh, a while back I showed some different techniques, different applications out there for grabbing screenshots of uh, web pages. Um, and I believe one of them I showed was uh, Cutty Capped, uh, which we're going to use today. Uh, but then we're going to use Convert, which is part of the Image Magic package, which uh, uh, will most likely be in your repositories if it's not already installed. Uh, we're going to use that to uh, crop and resize the image down to a thumbnail. Uh, of course, you can adjust this little code to uh, work for different sizes depending on what you want for your thumbnail. Um, Cutty Cat will probably not be installed by default, so just use your package manager to install it. This is what it's how it's spelled: C U T Y C A P T. And we're going to say dash dash URL, and we're going to give it a URL uh, URL equals. And say quotations will say HTTP colon forward slash forward slash films by Chris dot com. Uh, and then I'll say dash dash out for the output file. And we'll just say image dot PNG. Uh, so we'll hit enter. Give it a second. It goes out, grabs the website, takes a screenshot and saves it. So now I can use display, which is also part of the image magic package since we're about to use that. And we're going to say uh, display our image PNG. There we go. We have our image PNG, and I can scroll up and down. You can see my page is a little long, and it did load. Uh, it loaded even the ads there. It loaded up uh, the screenshots for the videos there. A little off center there, uh, but for the most part, it got the page pretty properly uh, at this size here. I'm not going to go too much into Cutty Cap and how it works because there are other options. But now we're going to take this and we're going to um, crop it first because as you can see, it's a long picture, which we don't want for a thumbnail. Thumbnails tend to be either rectangular or slightly uh, uh, or a little square or slightly rectangular. So we'll close that. And um, let's say we wanted a, a cropped screenshot first. We'll say convert um, our image.png dash dash, or sorry, just dash resize. And we'll say we'll resize uh, the width to uh, 720 and then we'll still have a long image so what we're going to do is we're going to crop it we'll just say crop it 720 by 480 and then you got to give it um, offset and we don't really want to offset it at all we want to start at the top uh, left corner so we're going to say 0 0 and we'll give it an output file we'll say image dot crop or image underscore crop PNG. By the way, uh, Image Magic um, knows to look at file extensions. So if I wanted it to be a JPEG, I could just say JPEG and it will convert it to a JPEG or a bitmap BMP. I'm just going to use a PNG here. Convert that, and now I'll say display our new image of ImageCrop.png, and there it is. It is the image that we had before, resized and cropped. Uh, so that's a nice little screenshot there. If you had a, maybe a larger thumbnail, that would be a real large thumbnail. If we wanted to, we can do the same thing, but we can say something like um, 256, uh, and then here we'll say uh, 256, and I'll say probably 200, I'm guessing here, and we'll call this thumb. And we will display our image thumb. There we go. I have a little thumbnail uh, that I can use on web pages or in other applications. Um, of course, I do want to mention, I try to always mention this when I use uh, Image Magic, it will automatically override um, an image. So let's say I wanted to redo this, I'll say 128, make it a little bit smaller. I will say 128, and we'll say 100 here. Actually, we'll make it 128, so we'll make it, oops, I hit end by accident. Um, 128, we'll make it a square uh, thumbnail, 128 by 128. And you notice I'm still using image, dot, uh, in, image underscore thumbnail dot PNG. It does not ask if you want to override. It just automatically overrides that image. So keep that in mind so you don't accidentally override an image you've already created. Let's display that, and you can see that I uh, have a smaller thumbnail. I did make it a little bit longer in uh, comparison to before, so we're getting a little bit more of the screen there. Um, so instead of uh, dividing that in half and that in half, I divide that in half and that a little less, or 
Yeah, a little less than in half. Yes? Yes. And um, giving us a longer image where before this little ad down here was cut off, and it's uh, now there. So that is just uh, using image. I mean, this is a simple little tutorial. I'm sure I've shown resizing and cropping with image magic before, and I'm pretty sure I've shown cutty cap and other techniques to grab websites before. I just thought I'd show you throwing them together if you wanted to create thumbnails. You could throw uh, these two commands in a script, uh, maybe put it in a loop, and it can grab a bunch of websites for you and give you a bunch of thumbnails. So anyway, I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. I hope you visit my website, which is filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. I hope that you have a great day.